In this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot when an AP fails to establish a CapCap connection to the Hive Manager. I have connected via the console to the AP. The first thing to look at is the CapCap client details. So I'm going to enter the ca show CapCap client command now. Here you can see that the redirector.errorhive.com is set as the default CapCap server name. This is set during the manufacturing process. When an AP is connected to the network, it will resolve the IP address of the redirector and ask which CapFab server it should connect to. According to the output here, we can see that the AP was not able to resolve the address of the redirector. At this point, we can start troubleshooting from the basics. The first step is to check whether the AP has access to internet. To check that, I will try to ping the Google DNS server address 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. As you can see, it says that the network is unreachable. This indicates that the AP is unable to even send the ping request out. The next step is to check whether the AP has an IP address. To check that, I'm going to enter the command show L3 interfaces. Here you can see that the AP has the default IP address of 192.168.1.1 which indicates that the AP has not obtained an IP address from the DHCP server. The next step is to check the AP's interface status. Here you can see that the Ethernet interface of the AP is down. I checked what was causing this issue and it turned out that the AP was plugged into the PoE injector, but the PoE injector was not plugged into the Ethernet switch. I corrected that issue and now the AP should be able to obtain an IP address. We can verify this by entering the show L3 interfaces command again. Now you can see that the AP has obtained the IP address 10.100.2.2 from the DHCP server. To verify the connectivity to the network and the internet, we can first ping the default gateway and then ping, the, ping an IP address in the internet like 8.8.8.8. .8 .8. To check the default gateway address, we can use the command show IP route. Now we can see that the AP can successfully ping the default gateway address and the IP address 8.8.8.8. .8 At this point, we can look at the CapFab client details again to check whether the AP can resolve the IP address of the redirector and learn the address of the high manager server that, is a, that it is supposed to connect to. From the CapFab client information, we can see that the AP is still not able to resolve the IP address of the redirector. We can also try the capfab ping command which use UDP port 12222 to ping the redirector. From the output we can see that not only the ping is unsuccessful, but the AP is not even able to resolve the IP address of the redirector server. This gives us a hint that maybe the issue is DNS related. To check what DNS server is configured, we can enter the command show DNS. This will show you the IP addresses of the DNS servers configured. You can verify whether this DNS server is useful by trying to ping any URL. And in this case, you can see that the AP is not able to resolve the IP address of the URL. If the current DNS server is not the correct DNS server for the organization, you can set the correct DNS server address using the command DNS server IP. In this case, I'm going to set the DNS server to be Google's DNS server with IP address 8.8.8.8. .8 Once the correct DNS server is set, try to ping any URL and you can see that the AP is now able to resolve the IP address of the URL. Since the DNS issue is resolved, we can check the CapFab client information again to check whether the AP is able to resolve the IP address of the redirector. As you can see that AP resolved the IP address of the redirector but still have not learned the CapFab server URL from the redirector. This leads us to think 
Maybe the AP is not able to reach the redirector using UDP port 12222. To confirm this, we can use the cap ping command. As you can see, the AP is now able to resolve the IP address of the redirector, but not able to reach the redirector using CAPFAP. The net next step is to check whether any device in the network, like the firewall, is blocking the access to the redirector via UDP port 12222. The issue turned out to be that the firewall was blocking access to UDP port 12222. I have corrected that issue and let's take a look at the CAPFAP client information to see whether the AP is now able to communicate with the redirector and learn the address of the primary and secondary hive manager CAPFAP servers. As you can see, the AP has learned the primary and secondary CAPFAP server names. If you CAPFAP ping the Hive Manager URLs in the CAPFAP client information, the ping should be successful. We will first CAPFAP ping the redirector, then the primary Hive Manager, and then the secondary Hive Manager URLs. If you go back to the Hive Manager interface, you can see that the access point is now connected to the Hive Manager. 